Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Random Video Thursday and today it's going to be another uh, book review. I'm stuck inside on a very rainy day here in Maryland and uh, I also can't believe that we have 10 days till Christmas, literally 10 days. It's December 15th, 2022 and, uh, Chris and 10 days later is Christmas. This month is going by fast. But the book that I'm going to be reviewing is uh, Dear Mr. Rogers. As you might guess, uh, this book is about Mr. Rogers, the host of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, the man in the cardigan sweaters. And it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a collection of letters that Mr. Rogers received over the years. And some of the uh, some of the letters are actually pretty funny. And it also has a couple of drawings in it. Over the years, a lot of children uh, sent letters uh, to Mr. Rogers. And some of the questions are silly. Some people actually uh, thought Mr. Rogers would come in uh, would go in and come out of the television set. People actually think he could go into the television set. But there were a lot of uh, other humorous uh, questions. Uh, such as, uh, let's see, ah, there, was one, uh, there was one kid who asked uh, if Mr. Rogers ever goes to the bathroom. Uh, one kid asked if Mr. Rogers ever got angry. Uh, he did. Not on the show. Mr. Rogers would never get angry on the show. Um, oh. Uh, when he was off work, he would get angry. And for, uh, like, like one time, uh, there was this, like this one time, uh, there was one time he, uh, got angry with his grand, with his grandson, and he, uh, got annoyed with him because he was playing with a with a water hose, but actually felt bad about it that he called him to apologize. True story. But uh, my favorite letter that Mr. Rogers ever received is uh, a seven-year-old boy uh, once wrote a letter to Mr. Rogers, and here it is. Dear Mr. Rogers, my daddy works at Sears. Do you have a job, too? And, uh, ooh. And, uh, Mr. Rogers uh, actually talked about this book in an interview with Rosie O'Donnell. Well, and I think when he, and I believe when he first read that letter, he laughed. Mr. Rogers did have a good sense of humor. And, uh, here it is. The response. Sometimes children have asked what I do at my work, and I tell them that there's a lot of planning that goes into making a television program. Part of my work is thinking of the ideas for our television visits and, vi and writing the scripts and songs. Then we have a lot of meetings so that everything will be ready for us when we go into the studio to make our program. Another important part of my work is answering the mail from my television friends. So in other words, um, what was his job? Uh, working on television shows. Uh, being Mr. Rogers was his job. So yeah, if you like Mr. Rogers, I definitely recommend this book. Um... Of course, I have a lot of great things to say. Mr. Rogers was awesome. A wonderful man. And that's it. Hope, everybody, hope everybody's looking forward to Christmas. Again, I can't believe we have only 10 days till Christmas. So um, anybody who's, uh, who's uh, decorating, um, if you have a few more decorations, uh, uh, enjoy uh, finishing... Uh, the decorating. Uh, if you've done all your decorating, congratulations. If you got your Christmas tree, also congratulations. Uh, 
I got my uh, I've got my Christmas tree. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on Monday. And uh, as always, please remember to share the video. Sharing is caring. Uh, comment down below, subscribe, like the video, all that fun stuff. See you next time.